What's up everybody? Welcome back to Kono Pro. Coming at you with this video right here. I'm gonna catch up on this job. All right, so what we got going on is we had an existing house. We tore it all down and it was a raised foundation. We left the garage slab, one wall in the garage. We tied into the existing garage slab and then we poured a new slab on grade. We have all our under pads and all that good stuff underneath there, all our foundation. We have everything we needed for all of our uh, all of our steel posts and all our columns and everything, all our I-beams. So we got all that set in the concrete. We have all our hold downs, our HD14s, 11s, our, and all our HD5s, and then all our regular J-bolts everywhere. Right? So they told us to keep this existing wall. So I know it's in bad shape and there's actually going to be different window layouts and stuff and we're supposed to sister up studs against every single one of those existing 2x4s. By the time I'm done with that wall, there's probably going to be three or four existing 2x4s in there. The rest of it's going to be new, but whatever, it'll have some existing in there. You see the bottom right there, you can see where the old girders sat on the old foundation and then our, new, our subfloor went that way and you can even see the old subfloor material right here right so what we're gonna do is cut all that out of there and we're gonna put a new bottom plate but I already talked to the inspector and he said leave all this and he asked me what I wanted to do and I said well I'm thinking about just sistering up a couple more of these rim joists in there sister a couple more up to bring it out you know flush two by six material right there we'll cut out all these horizontal old subfloor planks and get all those out of there and then we'll we'll cut all these we'll throw in a new bottom plate that'll drop down on top of this might have to put a three-quarter inch ripper of plywood in there we'll see but this is going to take some love we got to dial that in that wall in but we're ready to start framing we have all our three inch pressure treated and the reason why we have to have three inch pressure treated is because this is not only a two-story we have level five and level six shear walls which calls out for running our nailing on both sides of the plywood, right? Our shear panel is going to be nailed on both sides of the plywood. If you're nailing to the bottom plate on a regular 2 by material on both sides of the plywood, one side and then you nail plywood on the other side of the wall, you're going to have nails on both sides. They're going to be staggered and it can split the sill. So that's why you go with the 3 by you have more meat, you won't split the sill. And then all our six by six, all those six by six posts are gonna, they're gonna be a six by six post basically attached to every single one of these big pieces of all thread, one inch all thread, which are my HD 11s or 14s. You can see all our hold downs and all our J bolts. You see how many J bolts we have right here? That's because that's a shear wall, which is probably a five or six, which calls out for J bolts eight inches on center. When you go to your plans, you can read that and you'll see what the plans say and they'll tell you what schedule, then you go to your shear wall schedule and it'll tell you. See all these hardy frames right here? These are all the hardy frames. We're about to start getting those installed right now. You know all those steel hardy frames? Those steel hardy frames are some of the main structural supports of the building and they're gonna go here. These are our templates. And you take all this down, you set the hardy frame right down and bolt all that in. There'll be a hardy frame right there, but you got to get those templates for the forms, for the concrete. You got to, I always recommend getting a template. And let's say you need 14 hardy walls, you're going to need 14 templates. Exterior wall. All right, we're getting this place all dialed in, ready to go. We got our I beams, everything ready to go. Here it is, we'll touch base with you after we get some walls up. Hope you liked the video. If so, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and remember to subscribe. Kono Peace.